What is up, YouTube? It's Dead Guy Cardboard. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, I am back with another 90s insert installment. Um, I am still collecting vintage, so I know some of you guys follow me for my vintage collecting and uh, haven't given up on that. I just haven't found any cards that have really piqued my interest in terms of the grade and the condition I've been looking for. But I've picked up some pretty pretty awesome 90s inserts in the last couple months. I'll start with the ones that are um, not as tough as the ones I have in my, my magnet, magnetics. Um, this is the 1996 Pinnacle Fan Fest. Um, House of Cards is what they call this, the Pinnacle Fan Fest House of Cards. These were player cards. Um, I also picked up the Larkin. Um, basically, I think Pinnacle, during the All-Star uh, Fest, they had a setup where they had a stack of, basically, player playing cards that would stack up to look like a house, like you would stack a deck of cards, because these are made out of the same kind of card stock as, um, you know, playing cards. And these used to go for a lot of money, because these are really tough to find, and I know in the past there's been some issues of people printing out fake versions of these, but this is pretty legit. These, these are definitely legit. You can tell this is actual um, player card, card stock. And um, there's a guy on eBay that I got it from. He, st he still has a bunch more of these. So if you search on eBay for 1996 Pinnacle Fan Fest cards, I would pick one up because these used to book for hundreds of dollars. And I don't know if, you know, because it's an oddball, card that people just aren't collecting oddball cards as much as they used to but these used to go for a ton um this is a tough card i probably should put in a magnetic but i just don't have any magnetics anymore um this is a 1996 um uh, flare ultra hitting machine gold medallion these were tough tough cards to pull back in the day um it would take 2,880 packs to pull this card and there was 10 cards in this particular set which means if you wanted to pull a card in, a, in, in this a particular player in this set it would take uh, what was it 28,800 packs to pull a particular player which is insane I mean I, I want to eventually do a video of the hardest pulls uh, from the 90s and this this card might be on there I know it's near the top 10. Um, getting back to Barry Larkin, I picked up this 1996 Topps Laser card. Um, I can't remember which parallel this is, but this is the hardest parallel to get from that set. And it's a booklet that folds out. It's a very old school booklet. Don't see cards like this anymore. I picked up this 1999 Omega Copper, I believe. It's serial number to 299. So that's kind of my focus right now with Barry Larkin. I I don't think I want to collect all his cards. I just want to try to collect all his serial numbered cards from the 90s. So that's a lot of inserts and parallels. Just to kind of focus my collection a little bit more. So, speaking of serial numbered cards, this is the 1999 Bowman's Best Refractor. I love the 1999 Bowman's Best cards. I mean, they're just a really nice looking set. And the shine is unreal. And this is out of 400. I would love to pick up the Atomic Refractor, which is out of 100. Looks almost identical on the front, the Atomic Refractor, but it has sort of more of a, I don't know how to explain it, almost like a crystal-like finish to it, or this is just straight up a refractor finish. Um, I picked up this 1998 Topps Gallery. This is the Player's Private Issue. This is out of 250. With some really interesting serial numbering. You can see it right there. 36 out of 250. And I, this, is, this came from a um, lunchbox. This is the basically the boxes were tin 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 boxes that you would open up like a lunch box. This is a nineteen ninety nine upper deck retro. This is the gold. The golds are out of two fifty. 
And then I need to put this in a magnetic because when I picked this up, I didn't know quite how rare this card was. I always just search for Barry Larkin cards on eBay, and this is one I hadn't seen. This is the 1999 Topps MVP promotion. These cards are actually only printed to 100, and you know the back is just literally a, like a, a promotion, and it says on the back somewhere up here that only 100 were made. So if you pause the video, you can just check it out. But um, I'm not. Basically, how the promotion worked, it was something like Tops would announce an MVP every month or every week, and if you had the card of that MVP, like if Barry Larkin won for the month of whatever, you could redeem it for some prizes. But um, I don't know. I don't think a lot of people redeem the prizes, the cards, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but back when I was opening up cards as a kid, I would usually just throw away these promotion cards. I just figured I, I would never win. So, this is a promotion out of 100. There's only 100 cards per player, and I think a lot of people threw them away. So these are tough cards to find. And these are on most people's most wanted lists um, for people that collect players from the 90s. All right, so into the good guys, the, uh, the cards worthy of magnetics. This is, what is this, 1998... Pinnacle Zenith. <clears throat> this is an interesting card. Interesting set. The I, I think I think it was like three cards per pack, I want to say. But the cards were, were really, really big cards. They were essentially an old school Allen and Genter rip card. So you would you would have a big card and you would rip it open in hopes of getting a better card. And this is one of those better cards. This is the Z Gold out of one hundred. And any card 100 or less in the 90s is a tough, tough card to find. Um, you don't see a lot of these on eBay. And then, um, this is just one of the most just beautifully designed sets from the 90s. This is the 1998 Topps Gold Label. This is the Red Class uh, 1. It's class one because it's out of 100. There's also a class two out of 50 and a class three out of 25. They all look identical except for the stamping on the back, which I love the stamping. It's just this really clear red. Um, but each class has a different um, player picture, I believe, in the background, but the forefront picture is always the same. But just a really well-designed set. And, um, you know, Top skull label, I think, is definitely make a comeback. You're seeing, you know, the, the modern sets doing pretty well. And then this is a pretty big pickup. So Barry Larkin only had three autographs from three different sets from the 90s. Um, he had an autograph from the 1997 Donruss Signature set. Let me just put these up. He had an autograph um, for the 1999 Skybox autographic set which I do have and um, then he had an autograph for this the Fleer Mystique this is the fresh ink these were hand numbered to 250 just a really really nice looking set and then this card this card would have been the biggest pickup in the last couple months easily because they are hard to find but I'll explain a little bit why it's not. This is the 1998 Bowman Chrome Golden Anniversary. You can tell it's a Golden Anniversary because the signature is gold and the dead giveaway is a numbering out of 50, <clears throat> which is just really tough to find your player from the set. Um, and this this is a huge pickup. You just don't. These are hard to find. But there is a even harder version of this. It's the Golden Anniversary Refractor out of five, which has been on my top ten list. It's like number four in my top most wanted cards. And I was able to find one. Um, a guy on Freedom Cardboard was selling a quite a few, like ten different, ten or twelve different. 
Bowman Chrome Gold Anniversary Refractors. I think he had a Barry Bonds on there and a couple of common players. But this is, he had Barry Larkin, so I snatched this up. It wasn't cheap. But this is out of five, which, I mean, other than a couple, a um, handful of 101s from the 90s, this has got to be one of the hardest cards to find if you're a player collector. Um, I see, I wrote down the odds. The odds are 1,279 1, packs to pull a Golden Anniversary Refractor. However, there were 420, I think 440 players in the set. Um, it was broken into two different series, so you, you could figure out which player was in your series. So it was 220 players in a particular series. So let's say you were going after the Barry Larkin. That's 1,279 times uh, 220, which would basically, I would have to open 281,380 packs just to find this card, which is insane. I mean, it has to be one of the, one of the tougher pulls of the 90s. Um, the shine isn't that great, <laughs> but it's um, just such a cool rare card. I honestly thought that a 24 karat gold would be my best Larkin card for a long time, but this probably surpasses it. And the reason I don't have it in a magnetic is because I think I want to get it graded because it is just so sharp. The corners are nice. I don't see any flaws with it, so I might want to get this graded. And um, just something to look out for when you're going after these cards. Um, there are there are some fakes out there, so. Uh, there, there was a some cards that were not um, pack pulled. Someone, I guess, found a sheet of these Golden Anniversary Refractors without the stamping on the back. And if you actually, right now, if you search on eBay for Bowman Chrome Golden Anniversary Refractors, you'll see a bunch of them that don't have stamping on the back. And um, I guess what happened was a couple of people would buy them and they would put their own five stamp on the back. But um, the fakes are pretty good, but they're also pretty obvious. These are legit, and you can tell they're legit because the the font is different. So the 50 and the 5 are, are pretty bold, whereas the individual stamping, this 50 and this 1, are, are a different font. It's a smaller font. Also, the fakes have much more of a gold shine to them. These are sort of a dull gold um, look to them and there's a the loop on the five is a lot different than the loop on the fake fives so just something to look out for <clears throat> there's not a lot of these fakes out there I, I mean i think there's only just one sheet found so maybe one fake per player of the refractor gold i believe but i am super stoked to pick this up um but yeah like subscribe um, stay tuned for more i'll hopefully pick up some vintage stuff soon but i'm having a blast with these 90s inserts uh thanks for watching